Hey all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome back to Saving Hunted, episode 430 now. So, back here on the Western Island, continuing our parkour experiments. You know, I don't know actually know how much uh, longer I'm actually going to keep up this uh, particular map. Because the thing is, I've done so many parkour experiments already, actually, that, um, well, you know, across the previous couple of islands, that I think we've probably found, really, as much as we can on this particular map. And so I'm thinking that um, sometime soon it may well be time to move on, perhaps to a different challenge or something like that, just for the sake of, you know, a bit of variety and whatever else have you. But um, I'm going to do this episode here, as usual, just on this uh, West Island, just to see if there's anywhere else uh, we can parkour our way up. I see these big fucking fuel tanks, for example. I've always, I've always wondered if there's a way you can sort of parkour up them, get onto the top of them. But um, you know, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it here anyway, just because there's no sort of trees or any sort of real suitable climbing points near it. However, what I did want to do is go back in this direction towards what I think is a church over there that we saw, just to see if maybe I can climb up on that one, because it's uh, one of those churches which I think has like a hole in the roof. So I'm kind of wondering if that's uh, maybe possible. Who knows? Or if maybe we can climb up here anywhere. That'd be pretty awesome if we could do it, wouldn't it? Oh, I wonder if you can... Uh, oh, wow. Can you... Uh, oh, wow. I never realised you can actually sort of parkour your way up on top of the little war memorials in the villages. Interesting. Not that you can really jump from here onto anything, because things are a bit too far out. Okay. Yeah, see? Like that. It's a bit too far away. Now, um... In the meantime, actually, as we're uh, going along, just waiting for that balloon to uh, bugger off and do its own thing before it uh, ends up causing problems for me. You know, I was thinking um, about something just before I started recording. Uh, you know me, I always have these random topics of conversation lined up that I just like to talk about in Serbian Hunted episodes. They turn into these podcast-style things, as usual, but... The thing is, uh, last night, the uh, day before I'm recording this, and actually, um, you know, fairly recently as well, I was um, just doing a bit of, you know, reading uh, online. So, you know me, I'm, I'm a history buff, I like all kinds of history, and whilst, you know, my interest is primarily in more modern history, so 20th century, 21st century, that kind of thing, anything to do with like, international politics, international history, war military affairs, that kind of thing. That's what my sort of academic interest is in. You know, I, I do have more general kind of interests in other historical subjects. Um, you know, not... The thing is, like, as I've got older, I've got more and more interested in um, things which just years ago I would not have been so interested in. So, for example, things like uh, the English monarchy, monarchs throughout history, maybe a bit of, like, medieval and Renaissance history. And also, you know, I've been increasingly getting interested in the history of ancient civilizations as well. Because the thing is, I remember, you know, in primary school and in high school, for example, uh, they taught us about the Romans, things like that. Which, you know, Romans is a very kind of understandable subject for a kind of British, well, for the British education system, because obviously, you know, the Romans at one point ruled much of what is today Britain, and uh, thus, you know, they had a fairly profound legacy going into the medieval era and whatever else. Happened. So, there's that. But um, increasingly, like I say, as I've got older, I've got more and more interested in uh, learning more and more about other ancient civilizations. And, you know, there's a whole kind of variety of. Um, civilizations one could look into. And when I talk about, you know, the ancient world, I'm particularly interested in civilizations from including, you know, round about the same time as civilizations like Rome and Greece, but also perhaps uh, from earlier times as well. Because the thing is, you know, everyone everyone knows about probably the more well known ancient civs. You know, Greece, Rome, Egypt, whatever else have you. But there's so many others one could learn about, you know, like ancient China. Oh, come here. Urgh. Go on. There we go. Fucking so many dang robots in this area. What's going on? So, like, ancient China, um, ancient India, and, of course, what about, like, the Mesopotamian civilizations as well? We're all in sort of the Middle East. Oh, my God. What the hell? Who shot me then? Good Lord. Fucking... That guy, like, got off one final shot before he just died. Good Lord. Oh, let's wait for our health to recharge and get some more bandages whilst we're at it. Alright, uh, let me just drink some stamps, make sure I'm up at 100. Yeah, so it's saying, you know, 
there's all these different ancient civilizations around the world and you know i was reading a bit about some of the mesopotamian ones because they're really interesting because you know in ancient mesopotamia which is a stretch of land that is now coterminous with what is iraq uh, and that sort of area and kuwait places like that you know you had a whole plethora of civilizations and city-states so you had uh, ancient Sumer. Sumer, for example, being one of the earliest known human civilizations on Earth. But apart from that, you had things like the Assyrians, um, the Akkadians, uh, you had Babylon, uh, Babylon and the you know, Babylonian sort of empire at one point. And some of them are really fascinating because, like I say, they're just they're civilizations that I've never really kind of looked into before. And there's a lot of history there, and they're really interesting to look into. Because um, you know, mainly because I just don't know a whole lot about the history of that kind of location. Um, but apart from that, you know, so I, I was reading a bit about those, uh, namely about like their culture and things like that. I think you know about those kind of civilizations is you know some of the ruins of them. There are well, there's not a lot in terms of ruins left behind by these civilizations. Because the thing is, like, you know, the tragic thing is that because a lot of these civilizations were based in that you know, in the Middle East, in what is today Iraq and places like that. As you can imagine, some of them have just been absolutely ravaged by wars in the Middle East. Um, ravaged by wars, ravaged by, like, past, you know, colonial empires, things like that. And, you know, I mean, like, for example, one of the more, you know, recent ones, recent incidents from recent years was, of course, the destruction of Palmyra in Syria, I think it is. And, um, you know, stuff like this is really tragic. And so as a result of that, you know, there's not a lot of ruins we can kind of look for. But there are kind of replicas of what ancient cities from that region might once have looked like. So apparently there's like a museum, I think, in Berlin, where they have a recreation of a Babylonian city gate. And it looks really fascinating because it's like, it's made of obviously mud brick, or rather it's supposed to look like it's made of mud brick because it's like painted blue with like, sort of uh, murals of various animals and things on it and the more I look at stuff like that the more I think I would love to learn more about the Babylonian civilization and things like that or you know the Babylonian Empire because I've heard that you know there's some disputes over whether technically Babylon is its own civilization or whether it's part of the sort of wider Akkadian civilization but um, you know everyone everyone's probably heard of stuff to do with ancient Babylon. Everyone's probably heard terms like, you know, the whore of Babylon, things like this. And the reality is that, you know, what we sometimes think we know about these ancient civilizations comes from things like biblical texts, ancient Christianity, but of course sometimes that can be really judgmental towards them. So like, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah and Babylon being associated with like hedonism and immorality and kind of debauchery and stuff like this. Whereas actually that might not have really been the case. Um, it might have been more complex than that. Just wondering if there's a way I can get onto the other side of this church because this is a bit low down. Um, so yeah, there's that. But um, as I was kind of proceeding with these readings, there was one civilization in particular that really kind of caught my eye and I got very interested in, um, and that was the Etruscan civilization. So for anyone who doesn't know, um, well, I imagine most people have probably heard in passing the name Etruscan, uh, the Etruscan people, Etruscan civilization, things like this, even if they probably don't know a lot about it. So basically the Etruscans were kind of contemporaries of Greece and Rome, and where they were based, oh, I can just jump across like that, that's good, where they were sort of, you know, where their heartland was, they were, they were in Italy, essentially, what is today Italy, and, um, you know, eventually they were assimilated into the Roman Empire, but for all you know a good stretch of their history at their height they occupied quite a substantial part of what is now italy uh, and one of their heartlands is the area that today is known as tuscany um which i'm sure you know everyone's heard of here we go found the uh, church entrance see we've been in here before it was always good all right so you know tuscany was one of um the main sort of heartlands that is often associated with the etruscan civilization and you know a lot of their culture was very much kind of influenced by Greece and Rome, which is understandable, you know, because they were in very close geographical proximity to the Greeks and the Romans, so naturally there will be huge amounts of cultural influence. But at the same time, you know, they did have elements of their culture that were quite distinct. Um, so they did have, like, certain deities and spiritual entities and gods of their own 
though, you know, quite a few of them did share characteristics with Greek and Roman gods. But, um, you know, the more I was reading about them, the more I was kind of finding it fascinating, because, you know, there's actually very few instances of Etruscan architecture, for example, left. There are a few pictures on Wikipedia, which are quite interesting to look at. And then there's like the, I think, is it called the Cavoni in Italy? Uh, the Vicava, something like that, which is basically like a series of sunken roads um, that connect parts of um, what were former areas of, well, the Etruscan civilization, which now kind of link several more modern uh, towns within Italy. Oh my god, I've got myself stuck again. This is highly embarrassing, isn't it? Good lord. That's not what we want. Do I have to dynamite myself out here in order to escape? Because I doubt any robots are going to be able to find me up here. Alright. Fucking... Oh god. Please blow me up. Please. Oh god dang it. Only... Damn it. This fucking building gave me tons and tons of protection, it seems. Poacher. I'm over here somewhere. Can you come and deal with me, please? Just keep sanding my bullets off every so often. He's over there, bloody hell. Oh wow. Did you just... Did I just fucking shoot a bird out of mid-air? You all saw that explosion of friggin' feathers then, right? Oh, they're all disappearing though, that's the problem. I just need to lure the enemies over, that's all. You all saw that, didn't you? There was like an explosion of feathers then. I must have like shot a crow out of the air. I didn't even realise you could do that in this game. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, you can! I have learned something entirely new today. Alright, the freaking balloon is coming, hopefully. If keep shooting, it'll get his attention and it'll spot us. I'm hoping, anyway. Oh, he might have seen me. Yeah, he's seen me, that's good. Can he get me, though? That's the question. Up here, mate. Shoot me. Where are you? Come on. Oh. Shoot more crows out the air while I can. <laughs> Oh man, maybe that's an idea for a new challenge. How many crows can we shoot? Oh, fucking hell, he's gonna go away. Oh, wait for it. Oh, okay, hunters have arrived. Aha, here we go, now they'll get rid of us. Come on. Well, he's gone. As long as you guys don't get too close, you should be alright. Just keep shooting at me, please. There's more of them over there. Come on. Oh god, you guys. I've been taking so many shots, I've taken so much buckshot to the face here. This is ridiculous, and I'm not dead. Come on. Shoot me. Oh god, you're all down there. Come on. Shoot me again. That's it. Oh, come on. Keep, keep blasting. Oh. Might have taken out another bird then. Sure. There, here we go. Ah, oh, missed them. Right, we're gonna die. That's good. We needed to do that. I was stuck on that tower. Couldn't move. Right. Load up my last save. Shouldn't take... Right. Okie doke. Here we are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it happens from time to time because, you know, you're parkouring up onto areas where you're not supposed to be. Deary me. What can you do, eh? You know, sticking with this topic of ancient civilization. So I want to try and, if I can, read more about the Etruscans, because they sound like they're quite an interesting civilization. Um, but there's, you know, tons of others who I'd love to read about as well, like the Minoans, for instance, of Crete. You know, another another um, civilization that was sort of contemporary to ancient Greece. They're, you know, so they sound fascinating as well. But the thing is, actually, uh, I did read a book fairly recently. Um, which was all about China. It's, it's like a whistle-stop tour of Chinese history, starting, like, you know, going way back to the most ancient days, the most ancient dynasties. And that was an interesting book. I'm trying to remember, what was the name of it? Was it something like The Story of China, something like that? Mm. It was written by Michael Wood, I think. And it was a real, it was a great book. You know, if you're interested in Chinese history, that's definitely something worth picking up. Oh, man. But, you know, China is kind of fascinating. Um in terms of its history, given that, you know, it's been through so many periods where it broke up, but it always kind of then eventually came... Whoa! Jesus. Something just rubber-banded me then. What was that? Yeah, but China sort of has had... Oh, is it the barbed wire? Is that what's knocking me off? Wow. I didn't realise that uh, barbed wire made you rubber-band like that. Really strange. Right, I'm on here. Okay. I if there's an area I can climb up. Um, I doubt it, but... Oh, if only I could get up there, where it's nice and flat. Hmm. Can I get the squire to help me? I uh, just wonder if I could like, piggyback up on top of him and then jump up, up somewhere. 
but I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. Yep. Nope. I'm thinking maybe I could get up there, but I don't think that's going to happen at all. No, is it? I mean, I've got all my stuff. I'm fine. Whoa. Hello there, landowner. How you doing? Ah, <sighs> ma'am. Okay, go around here. What are you guys doing over there? Are you just messing around? Squire, come over here, please. I want to see if I can get your help. Since you're such a sociable old sport and all that. Unless I can jump up on this window ledge without... Fuck, I've glitched into it! Oh, god dang it! I only touched the corner and already I'm stuck again. Alright. I'm going to have to blow myself up. There we go, this will kill me. Boom! Really? Well, it made me bleed, but it didn't blow me up. Flipping out, I thought that would be a one... One hit kill for sure. Flipping heck. Well, we're learning all kinds of interesting things today, aren't we? In this episode. You can shoot crows, you can rubber band off barbed wire, all kinds of stuff. Send me back in. Here we go. Right, okay. Uh, how long have I been recording for? I've actually completely lost track of time there. Um, I got so distracted talking about ancient civilizations that I don't know where I'm actually at by now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, shall I wrap up here? Um, I've probably been recording for at least ten minutes there, which is probably a decent amount of time for an episode, not going to lie. Alright, well you know what? Um, I think we'll wrap up here and... In terms of the parkour experiments, I think we've kind of really taken them as far as we can. I don't know if we really should be, well, necessarily seeking to, um, well, seeking to actually stretch them out over the entire set of islands on this map that we've generated, which is fine. But, you know, I've got plenty of ideas for challenges that we could do. And the thing is, realising that I'm actually now able to shoot crows out the air, something, again, that I've never actually tried in Surrey Being Hunted, I'm surprised I've never tried it, you know, that gives me ideas for possible future challenges. Um, that we could try and do. We could try and do like a freaking, you know, <laughs> grouse shooting <laughs> challenge or something. <laughs> Shoot as many pheasants and crows as you can. Just the thing, like I said, I, I wasn't aware you could do that. I had no idea that was a thing in the game. I just thought they were like, you know, maybe um, entities that just fly through the world and they don't really do anything else. I'm just going to see if I can swim out to some of these rocks. And if the uh, sea beast kills me, so be it. Oh god, I think he's right there, isn't he? <laughs> see his claws. Right, let me up, 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 there we go. How far out can we go? We go somewhere. Let me out, please, please, please. Let me onto some flatter rocks. Oh, hello. Alright, kill me. Finish me off, matey. End the challenge, end the parkour experiments, please. If we can even get on these rocks, I don't think we can. I can go on this one, maybe. No, let's just swim round. You okay there? No, you're going back in again, are you? Are these rocks sort of preventing you from actually getting to me? I wonder if they are. Come on, get up there. Ugh, I can't get up. Not sloping enough when you're swimming like this. Come on, there we go. That's how you do it. God, we're out here now. God, I've, I've tried before, you know, swimming out. God, I was supposed to be doing an outro here and I'm getting distracted already. Oh, hello. How you doing? Oh, okay, you got me. Well, that's as far out as we're going to get, I think. Okay, well, let's uh, end it there. Facebook, Twitter, links down below, along with the links to my program on this channel for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. But on that, goodbye, everybody. Not the place to be. Don't you dare. Don't you dare go for that machine gun, you bitch. Got him. Push him forward. He's got us. Oh, yes, give me the Thompson for a bit. Right. <laughs> he went flying. Good lord. Oh. Awkward, that's a fucking grenade. Back, 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 back up. Back, 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 back up. Boom, bitch. You can't gonna get me that way. Give me neck. Come on. Is he dead? He is. Okay. Looks like we need to go in that direction yet, but uh, first and foremost, let me just. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Oh, there's four of them. I see him. Stop it. Ow. No. Yeah. Good lord.